We're here coming up on the Arizona-New Mexico border. We're still in Arizona. Probably up at about 10 miles will be the New Mexico border. She's in the car. So is Kathy. They're waiting for me. Time to head on out. We're on about a 20 mile segment where Interstate 25 and Highway 60 that we're following run together. So we do everything we can to avoid the interstate highways as we travel. Uh, sometimes you can't avoid them and they run together here. There's no other good way to get out through the, the landscape out there. We're going to follow Highway 60 which is very scenic and has been for the last two days and we're going to follow it part way through New Mexico where we're going to merge with Highway 54 which is what we're going to follow up through the remainder of New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma and uh, into Kansas. Uh, so that's the same route we came down. We're actually going to pass through Liberal, Kansas which is where Dorothy's House and Museum was, uh, if you recall in a past video. Sometimes you can't avoid the interstate. Most of the time you can. This is why we get off the interstates. This oncoming truck here is the last uh, vehicle That truck was the first vehicle we've seen in a while. No. We're just on an open highway. No. It's U.S. Highway 60. And it uh, cuts across the southern part of the United States. Not all the way down by the border, but northern Arizona. Uh, northern New Mexico. Into Texas. We're going to cut off. Like I say, we're going to get on 54 because we're not heading towards Amarillo in Texas. Uh, we're heading up towards northern Wisconsin. So we're going to take 54 through Kansas. 54 will actually run with, for about 20-30 miles between Santa Rosa, New Mexico and uh, Tucumcari, New Mexico. Um, it'll run along with Interstate 40. Again, it's a place you can't avoid it uh, without getting on some real remote roads. But this is the type of road I love driving on. I could take this all the way back to northern Wisconsin if it went that way, Kathy. But it doesn't. Yes. Yes. Such an easy Arts. drive and a beautiful scenic drive too. Yes. It's it's your Makes me want to be a cowboy, Kathy. Yes. Except I don't know how to ride a horse. Did it one time in my life. We're here at the Salinas Pueblo Missions National Monument on uh, the Abu Ruins. Yes. We've been here before, but we never got it on video. We just left Liberal, Kansas, where we spent uh, a day, and uh, you saw that video where we were in Liberal, yes. visiting Dorothy's house and museum, um, and now we're heading north on a highway that we've never been on. We're going to follow Highway 83 north out of Liberal through Nebraska, South Dakota, and into North Dakota. Yes. yes. Over the next few days, we're not going to rush it. Uh, but we've never been on this highway, so I'm kind of excited to see what's out there. I think we're going to see a lot of this right now. A lot of the prairie, farmland, and But I'm excited. I think maybe we'll pass some scenic areas too. 
but we'll be on Highway 83 for the next two to three days because we take it slow. We also avoid all the major cities on this trip on the way up too. Um, today we're avoiding Kansas City, tomorrow Des Moines, and then the last day uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Everybody. Lean it. Lean it. You can see we made Lean it back it. to Bayfield, Wisconsin. Lean it. And that's where we are right now. We're out on yeah. my mother's deck that overlooks uh, Lake Superior. Lake Superior is right out there. And it's a beautiful that's place. Good. That's good. This that is going to become our new home. One. Yeah. Anyway, yes. it took us about eight days instead of the 10 that I was anticipating to get back. And it, we left off in Kansas there in that little segment from Kansas. What happened is we, we drove into some windstorms, some wind and yeah, rainstorms, just like Dorothy. I did. And we I had horrible did. weather coming I up through did. Kansas, did it. Nebraska, did it. and uh, South Dakota. And so we didn't do any recording the rest of the way back until you saw us pull into uh, the road that leads to the house here. Uh, that barn that I showed you there was actually the first uh, house my mother ever lived in in Bayfield. That's going back almost a hundred years now, and it had already <laughs> been converted into living Bad. quarters. Bad. And uh, it's been remodeled many times since. Uh, but and it's a nice place now. But her home here now is this. It, it's a more modern home, but she has a beautiful view of the lake. And this is going to become our home now, too. By the time yeah. you're watching this, I we're actually going to be in Peoria. I look at that. I look at we're going to be in Peoria look getting some of our things these, packed up. These, and our boys are going to join us these. next week. And we're going to move our stuff up, up here. So a lot's been going on. And that's why I'm falling a little bit behind on YouTube. I apologize for that. We should be completed with this move by mid-May. And uh, I should be getting back on track. So, again, I apologize if I'm not getting to your videos in a timely manner. That's the reason why. That's right. Taffy. Taffy's. I also wanted to give a shout out to a special channel. Uh, two special people by the name of Gina and Robert from the YouTube channel Here to Cheers. They have a wonderful channel. Uh, they do travel related things. Uh, they're they're quite a bit younger than we are. Yeah. Uh, but they do they do some wonderful adventures. Uh, Please. They have recent Please. videos from Las Please. Vegas and uh, and New York City. Leave it. And uh, Leave and we love Leave watching it. them. We hope you'll check their channel out. They're here to cheers. We'll yes. have a link in the description. Yes. It's going to be right here above us. Yes. And uh, they're two very special people. They've uh, become good. We've become good friends with them. And we love them very much. I hope you'll check them out. Subscribe to their channel. Watch some videos. We think you're going to love them. The day. The day on here. Back, back here, kid. Back in here, this. And then I have to do the Catholic Kathy. 
Kathy Cosses Cosses is mine. Mine. Right. 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 They're two very special people. They do a lot for Alzheimer's, too. Uh, and uh, we want to thank them for that. And uh, we really love them. So we hope you'll check their channel out. So it's a beautiful place here, you Kathy. Will. This is going to be our new home. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. The, Bayfield is actually my hometown. I'm going to flip you around here. Nuts. But there's a view of Lake Superior out there. That's Basswood Island over that way. Madeline Island out that way. And it's a beautiful day today. You can see some of the sumac here is growing up. What will happen is by the end of May. It is. It is. It by, is. The, by the end of June, we'll have that trimmed down and uh, that will increase the view some more. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful area. We love it. Tear. Kathy loves it here. <laughs> and you get along great with my mother. <laughs> my mother. My mother is doing a lot better right now. Uh, she's getting around, still in a walker, and it probably won't be all that terribly long before she gets out of the brace uh, splint that she has on it and uh, will be her old self again. Beautiful place. You can see eagles out here quite often. There's some nests right up in, right up, you can't see them here, but uh, there's some nests right over here. Beautiful lake. There's a seagull up there. And we're going to love it up here. This is my hometown. It's what I consider yes. my hometown. Yes. And yes. Uh, I always kind of thought I'd return, and, uh, and now I have. So we want to thank you for watching our Buns. video Buns. today, our return home yeah. to Wisconsin. Not, not, not. We hope you enjoyed not. it. Not the same. The same. Love y'all. Same you gamed. Take care, everyone. Love y'all. Yeah.